Hello everybody, my name is Harry McSmarty and I'm really nervous to be here today, but we're doing it. So it's been a little while since I've uploaded anything decent content where I haven't uploaded shit. It's been months, okay. Uh, how many has it been? It's been... Uh, three months! Wow! Love that. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing great. Um, I've had lots going on in my life and that's why I haven't been here with you fabulous people. But today... Today is a day to be making content. I'm so scared. Today is a fantastic day. Could, I could use a monster sponsor, by the way. I'd love your guys' mini fridges. I would love one of my own. So, God, this is gonna be unorganized as fuck. But um, I am here to talk about how the media portrays female gaming. That is it. That is the title. That is what it is, okay? A while ago, I don't know if anybody else saw this. I'm pretty sure they did. It was kind of on the featured page. But a while ago, I have to find it. A post was made. I'm doing my makeup. Shit. Um, it's okay. We're still going. It's it's great. We're good. I don't care. You guys don't care. Yes. Okay. I found it. I, I found it. All right. So basically, this post says, "Woman on the Rise." YouTube featured emerging gamers. Okay, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Posting on the featured page about women gaming, fantastic. I love that. It's great to see that women are accepted into the community as gamers. I don't know what took us so long, but all right. Okay, now this is this is the description. Get to know some of the gaming creators who inspire us with their skills in The Sims, Animal Crossing, and more top games. Now, if you're not a female gamer, um... Or you're some guy, I don't know, I don't know who else was going to pick up on this, but I definitely did. Uh, my friend who I sent this to definitely did. But basically, with their skills in The Sims 4, or sorry, The Sims, with their skills in The Sims and Animal Crossing. This, I was fuming when I saw this post, okay? I love The Sims, I love Animal Crossing, both great games that I both own. But where is the mention of any competitive game in here? Why is it that they're labeling and picking out the content that is The Sims and Animal Crossing? Now, you might think that I'm over here like, Oh my god, this is so stupid. Why would they post this? This is not cool. I am all for the, the embracing female gaming. But at the same time, you use two games that sort of restrict women to a type of gaming. That is my issue. So The Sims 4 and Animal Crossing are both... Um... It's considered casual gameplay games. So why is it that these, there's no mention of a game, say like Valorant, um, COD, any, anything, Fortnite for God's sake, Among Us, like there, there's nothing. Why is it strictly these two games? I have been, as a female making callouts in competitive video games, I've been told go play The Sims, go play Animal Crossing. This is the issue. <laughs> Why wouldn't you recognize, rather than just those two games, why wouldn't you recognize the females as a whole? Like, why wouldn't you just say, with their skills in top games? Perfect post right there, but you had to point out the two damn games that women are confined to in this community. And that, that's an issue. Should not all games be allowed to be both genders or more than- Like, it shouldn't be that this game is for men and The Sims 4 and Animal Crossing are for girls. Because I know guys that play Animal Crossing. Same way I know girls that play Valorant or COD. Like, what- There's no difference. It's- It's the fact that... Whoever made this post did not- Like, I know- Don't- Don't get me wrong, I understand that this is for algorithm use. And because lots of female creators make Sims 4 content and Animal Crossing content. That is what they're trying to force people into watching. Like, it's all- It's all numbers. It's all part of the YouTube algorithm, okay? It's all about revenue. But at the same time... Why? Like, you gotta think of creators like Pokimane, okay? Okay? Pokemon is- or Pokemon, god. Pokemon is huge. She played Fortnite. I don't know what she plays now. I don't watch her. But huge. But there's no mention of that. There's no mention of any other game. Just The Sims 4 Animal Crossing. Now, the gaming community 
is a community full of people from everywhere. It's diverse. There's so much into it, okay? Like, people everywhere playing all sorts of different games and having all sorts of different interests within this community, but we're still stuck in the 1900s and labeling women to one certain type of game. So I was talking to my mom about this whole thing, and you know what she said? She said it's like, it's like when a female says, I'm gonna go to school for, or um, I'm gonna go to university. And then the person talking to them says, whoa, are you, are you going to become a nurse? It's the same thing. Now, it's the same thing too. When you think female gamer, what does the average person think of? Complete pink setup. Yes, my setup is pink. It's pink and I love it, but that's just me. I just love pink, but I still play competitive games. Why, why are females in this community restricted to the ideal that they have to play casual games that they can't be embraced for playing competitively like i might be taking a little bit too far and i know some of you guys are gonna be like oh my god you're such a feminist i am not a hardcore feminist i don't believe men should burn okay that is i know that's not the feminist view but that is not what i think i just believe that rather than limiting women to this category of gaming like the casual category Say Stardew, um, Genshin Impact, I love Genshin Impact, okay, The Sims, like, just stuff like that, casual based games, not the same that Genshin and all that shit is not competitive, but at the same time, casual games that people don't see as respectably, like, challenging? I believe, I believe that we should not be assuming that all female creators are playing this stuff, or that all girls play these games, because we don't. We play the same games you do. There's girls that play, hold on, we're gonna talk games right now, give me a second. Females still play Resident Evil. Fortnite, like I've said. Um, GTA 5. Uh, World of Warcraft, Red Dead. Um, Overwatch, oh, I had this as another point too, okay? So, I'm an Overwatch, po I played Overwatch for about two years and then I'm not really into it as much now I should get back to it. it's a great game love it by the way but at the same time um the only issue with being a female playing overwatch is you are subjectively assume that you play this type of playstyle you play diva you play mercy or you play who else is there oh my god I'm, I'm not caught up on my overwatch characters okay you play D.Va, you play Mercy, you play any other female character, you play Widowmaker, you play anybody like that. Like, it's... Particularly D.Va because she is a huge marketed female character, and Mercy because she's a huge support character, okay? So now it's like, oh, you're female? Play Mercy. Go Mercy. Pocket me. Support me, and basically allow me to do all of the work. Tailgate off of my success. It's... It's sad. It's really sad that lots of female gamers, like, I have a friend who is female, but she also enjoys playing support. But she doesn't just pocket everybody, she does it, she actually enjoys helping the team and playing support. But there's a difference when you basically tell a female in-game, play this character because you're gonna help me. That's not okay. That is not okay. <laughs> that, or, um, like I said, I should probably take it back to the whole pink setup and thing. Not all girls like a pink setup. There are streamers out there that use black setups. I just like pink. And you should also not say that if you have a pink setup, you're not a female gamer because that is bullshit, okay? I've been playing games since 2013. I deserve the recognition I deserve, okay? So, it's just... Oh my god. It's all shit, basically. It's... It, it just... It makes me sad. Like I said, we're in a huge community of all sorts of different people, and yet we still treat girls and women or females playing games this way. Why? Why? I've played games before where people, well, I make a call out, a helpful call out, or ask somebody to do something to help our team win a game, and guys will say, oh my god, it's a girl, I'm, I'm throwing, and throw the whole fucking game. Like, why? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to make sure our team succeeds and you get ratings. So why? I I don't understand you guys. It's the audacity of some people, right? But at the same time, if you don't see the issue with this, um, that's fine. You don't always have to believe my opinion. 
That's my, my whole channel is based around the idea that I have my opinion, you have yours, we respect each other about it. But this, this is stupid for me. I'm not bashing The Sims or Animal Crossing or any casual based game because girls play it or because it is being used as a girl game. It's just the fact that... Uh, I don't know. It's just the fact that even in 2021, when everybody is playing games, we're all stuck at home. And the community, again, huge, gigantic, and we're all doing, like, everybody's collaborating, making content together. That companies like YouTube are still posting posts that, that we still can find females to this type of game play, okay? It... It, they had to take two words out of that post and it would have been just fine like I I am really passionate about females and rights and standing up for women and general equality in that way like as a gaming community should we not all be equal should we not be treating each other fairly and just in the hopes of playing the game and not just bullying people on the internet like I don't know honey but um yeah and again, if you're somebody who doesn't believe this is right, you're welcome to leave. You don't have to stick around for this and listen to me bitch about fair posts. Look at, look at, hold up, hold up. I got, I got expansion packs, my dude. I played the game like the shit. I have over 400 hours on The Sims 4, okay? Like, don't come for me in that way. I am not here to hate on anybody, it fell, or bash any other communities that play certain games. I am just here to simply ask why is it that this is not acknowledged sometimes. That us females, it needs to be talked about. We need to be saying, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna let you confine me to these games anymore. You don't have to stop playing casual games. You can play competitive, but we can't be labeling these games as the only games girls play because then our community will not grow. We have to have females playing CSGO or Siege, even though you hop in a voice call in that game and shit goes wild because people cannot be nice to people. So to end off this spiel video, whatever the fuck this is, that is all. So basically, be nice to people, be accepting of women, and while you're at it, don't pull up the excuse of telling somebody to go play Animal Crossing or The Sims ever again. And then we won't have any problems, all right? Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, yeah. Please take care. Really consume what I've said in this video. Rant thing. I was very angry in this, apparently. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys are doing great. And, um, see you guys all in the next one.